morning fast, January 14th, Saturday, gonna weigh myself, just woke up, 8 o'clock, today is back day, gonna eat some breakfast, I'm gonna show you my detox morning vinegar drink, and I'm gonna weigh myself, so I was 168, I should be 164, and tomorrow, doing some abs cardio today after back finishing with some high interval I'm gonna start calling it fast paced machine so fast paced FPM instead of hit high interval training fast paced machines you do fast paced machines at high intervals or you if you don't like the monotonous staying on a machine and just doing it over and over how it gets boring you could do look up, you know, on Google, hit high intensity interval training, and they have a bunch of different workouts that are just body movements, fast paced, you know. Um, you do that as well, <laughs> kind of like insanity type of stuff. So, let's see, one sixty four. In a way, myself, and by the end of this month, I need, I want to be. 160 just for the PT test and be lighter for that mono half run I want to score my current highest is 98.5 for the PT test I want to score 100 this year and just stay at 100 until I retire and hopefully I'm, I'm able to do my 20 years in the Air Force I want to go officer OTS get some degrees in either like physical training, medical, nutrition, or some computer science stuff. I don't like math that much. So hopefully that computer stuff can go well. All right, so let's Weigh ourselves. Okay. One sixty four point six for the phone, I guess. And now let's go make that drink. Guys, here's the ingredients. You can squeeze your own lemon and lime or just buy it ready. You got this apple vinegar, like, for a two-for-one at um, Costco. But I suggest the Mother's Bragg's better, has better nutrients. A little cayenne pepper, some ground ginger, and water, or I'm using some cranberry just for flavor. So what I do is... Generally, about two ounces of that, squeeze of that, squeeze that in, sprinkle some cayenne, just to get that fat burning, going in your empty stomach for the morning, right in the morning, empty, sprinkle some ginger, and top it off with some juice or water. So I'm gonna drink that with two of my fat burners. Here's breakfast, one Belgian waffle and the little toaster. Got that at Costco. Two over easy eggs that came out well done, I guess. One turkey bacon and some orange juice. And right now I'm Trying to find a new back exercises to do something. You always have, want to switch it up and, you know, alternate from different exercises for your body parts, not do the same one every week and just shock your muscle and just confuse it. Every time you go in there, just do something different and, you know, completely new so that your body doesn't get used to it and so that you keep growing and getting better. So today's back. Peace. This one here. 
in there. Really by a nice one all the way down, stretch, all the way up, squeeze. This is 15 reps, and then 15 reps of rack pulls. So that's 15 and 15. Now, I'm gonna bump the, the weight twice, times two, do 10 reps of each. And then seven, and then like one to three or something. Heavy, heavy. So for this, wide grip lat pull downs, in reverse lat pull downs. I already did my 30, 20, 15, 10, 7, 3 to 4. I already did it. So now I'm just going to show you how it's done by supersetting both on um, 70 pounds. For this one, same thing, 30, I did 20 pounder for 30 reps, 20, 15. When I got a 10, I got the 40. And then for seven, I double that, the 80. And then for four, I got the 100 pound. So I'm just gonna show one side, do both sides. I'm gonna show one side for 10 reps with the 40. The back.
hold this right here. Straight arms. Just pull over your legs. Next, this is another one like the one I just did, diverging row from back. Start off light. If you're 30, 20, and 50, start off light. I'm just worried about stretch, bringing it back, squeezing there. Just one second. So squeeze, right? Squeeze right where you want it to engage, and then release slowly. Here's my 15 for 70 pounds. Thirty for seven, and then one at three for 150 pounds, or 170. And after this one, I'll do the sound call. I'll show you. I forgot the name. Peace. So for this machine, the row row rear deltoid. There's two variations. This top grip here. It's like a motorcycle, and then the bottom one for. The lower belt traps, or not trap on that lat area. Well, super set both 70 pounds. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> 
the last one? The last one is for some fast paced machine cardio. Here's my fitness gear, the My Protein Shaker, at the bottom for pills or powder, Versa Grips, it's pretty good for grip, pulling yourself up, pulling something up, I grab these with the neoprene rubber, it's my hands sweat a lot, my hands sweat a lot so I got some of this, Black Widow Spider Chalk. Liquid chalk, magnesium carbonate. It's okay. I'd rather use the powder chalk instead. <laughs> Samson watch. Change the music, heart rate, and then these for Reebok CrossFit shoes for deadlifts, for deadlifts, long socks or long pants, whatever. <laughs> There you go. Time for some fast paced cardio. So fans, just got done with cardio fast paced machine. I decided to use the rowing machine. Just like you're rowing a canoe, canoe or whatever that sport is. Did that for 15 minutes of high interval. And then I did a post stretch, a whole body dynamic post stretch. I'll post a picture on that. Um, what else? Now, I'm just walking home on base. I'll show you at the McDonald's. I'm gonna have post-workout meal. I'll show you you can eat healthy just about anywhere, unless it's just straight fried microwave food. But McDonald's, I'm gonna get a salad, um, extra chicken, salad, light on the dressing with some water. And then, Tonight going to Casa de Sueños, the only great Mexican restaurant here at uh, Alma Gorda, New Mexico. So we're gonna eat there with the wife, post that. And that's it for today. So I got to the gym about 10 o'clock this morning and it's now 13.45, almost two. So yeah, if you really want it and you're determined and motivated, you have to put in the work. That means you have to stay there for how many hours and work on that certain body part and just completely kill it. Full form. <laughs> Full form and reps. All that. So, what else? But yeah, I mean, it's good if I see a lot of people that just go in, go out an hour or less. They don't, they don't seem sweaty. They don't seem like they're out of breath or like it, it really killed them. And then over the years, then they wonder why, you know, you, you don't gain muscle, you don't lose fat, you don't show any progress. You have to put in the work. It's not easy. I mean, it's, it's more difficult than just lifting and putting down the weights, doing so many, going straight heavy all the time. Like if you decide to go that path of just straight heavy all the time, yeah, you'll um, you'll get strength, but you might not show the you might not show away your definition and cut on your body parts. So this whole year, I, until August, I'm gonna try this form of high volume, high reps. Just you know, 30, 20, and 15, just nice, slow, great breathing, contracting, and squeezing the muscle at the rep. You know, squeezing it for a second or two, then controlling it back up. So I'm gonna, 
that's what I've been doing. And then for my heavy sets, that's when, you know, you get treated a little bit at, on your form because you want to, you know, lifting heavy is just, it's harder once you're that worn down. But, uh, yeah, basically, but yeah, so like I was saying, my bad, August, I'm going to try to switch it up and just do 20 of light controlled form warm-up, 20 reps of light. And then I'm gonna do like from four to seven sets of 10. So 70 reps total, plus the 20 warm up, 90. For those 70, I'm gonna use just straight heavy, just go right into it, see if um, my muscles multiply it by two. <laughs> because, you know, once you reach a certain level on your physique, it won't really grow unless you do something crazy. That's why a lot of people decide to go the alternate route and use growth hormones or steroids, but that's a whole other field. So yeah, that's what I'm going to try this summer. Um, what else? Yeah, like I said, stay motivated, determined, get in there. You know, minimum of, I know time in life is difficult, but you get in there at least three times a week, you know. Lift weights, do cardio. High interval cardio is the best for losing weight. Unlike doing the slow pace, space, my bad. Slow paced cardio just on a seems monotonous. That's how you get bored of things, and it takes forever to lose that that way. So just get in there, kill it. You know, on the weekends, I mean, you have nothing, you have nothing else to do. Why not stay in there for two or three hours and just come out of there super worn out? Go eat a nice meal, live life. Peace. Let me show you this McDonald's video. This Southwest chicken salad, extra chicken, little balsamic vinaigrette, cup of water, and it has cheese, but I haven't been eating dairy, but shit, I guess I'll eat it. Healthy. Got my favorite restaurant, Casa de Sueños, and I ordered the steak. What is it? The sirloin steak with squash and beans before that they hook it up with this awesome soup de mexico pozole I'm gonna share this with my wife with some of this onion cilantro and lemon and uh, maybe put some of those fire hot sauces these chips and the sauces are the best well one of the best that i've had so far peace Guys, eight ounce sirloin steak, squash, and beans. Some hot sauce, enjoy.